This and every episode of Wrecked Podcast is brought to you by Beeksy Exchange, an upcoming cryptocurrency exchange built in collaboration with One Market Data. Beeksy is bringing legacy finance speed, power, and sophistication to crypto for the first time. With 225,000 transactions per second per pair, comparable to NASDAQ, 15 order types on day one, with 25 order types on full rollout, and a dedicated customer support team, Beeksy is setting itself apart from the competition. Check out Beeksy today at Beeksy.com and pre-register today at Beeksy.com slash registration to get your free Beeksy exchange tokens. That's Beeksy.com, B-E-A-X-Y dot com. That's Chamber. Hey, Chamber. Hi, Chamber. Oh. Hi. <laughs> Hi, Chamber. <laughs> I got all that on, on record. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm Bitcoin Bella, and this is Wrecked. Hello and welcome to Wrecked Podcast. I am Bunchu Betts alongside my esteemed colleagues and co-hosts. Chamber, how are you? Doing pretty good. Nice uh, November day. Turning into December uh, very soon. But no snow on the ground. A little bit of rain. It's all right. Not bad. I can deal with this. I thank you for your Canadian weather Yeah, report. weather update. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and we also have Cynthia here. Cynthia, how are you? I'm good, great, grand, wonderful. Well, that sounds great. Get and on we, the have, bus. we have a wonderful guest with us. You know her from Twitter, Bitcoin Bella. Bella, how are you? Hey guys, I'm doing great. I'm uh, rolling around after eating too much Thanksgiving stuff, but uh, other than that, I hear good. you. I hear you. Uh, Chamber, how was your Thanksgiving? Oh, wait. I was going to show you guys what I was eating when you guys were eating all that good stuff. Uh, it was very sad. A lot of sad meals over the weekend. Didn't you tweet about your sad meal? Um, no, I did tweet about my fun meal I had that yesterday. That was a freaking awesome meal. Uh, and it was, uh, what, what was it? It was uh, taquitos, red wine, oh, and a cupcake. Uh, that, that, <laughs> that is a fun meal. I live my best life. Absolutely. Cynthia, how was your Thanksgiving with your was- child army? Yeah, it was fantastic. This was our first year, uh, like, not going to somebody else in the family's house who, like, did it all for us. We stayed home, just our big army, and made all the food ourselves. So that was interesting, but it all turned out awesome, and uh, it was good. Are you a good cook? Of course I am, and so is my husband. We both are. We both love to cook, so it was... from the south. Exactly. (laughs) They all cook well down there, right? Is that that accurate? That sounds... Yeah. Right. Bella, how was your Thanksgiving? It was great. Um, my sister has a few kids, and they're cute size, you know, the cute <laughs> age. So I spent, yeah, I spent the day playing video games with them. That's it was really awesome. awesome. <laughs> that is awesome. How, what is, uh, what's the cute age? Cute age is anywhere in between, I'd say, like, two and eight. Uh, Cynthia, how many of your kids are still cute age? Um, all except for two. <laughs> uh. And, and, and do you agree with that? There's a cute age and then a... Oh, yeah. Then they just... They're not cute anymore and they're just uh, assholes. <laughs> yeah. That's funny. <laughs> well, Chamber told us it was a bad idea to have yeah, children. In general. Just as a rule, children are maybe not the greatest. I'm really thing. glad I had the mic plugged in for that because my kids are right there. <laughs> but if you do, you can mess with them is what he yeah. said. So. No, absolutely. Uh, That's probably one of the best parts about having kids is just the ability oh, to Oh, absolutely. I scare the crap out of my kids on a daily basis and it is so fun. <laughs> my uh, my Thanksgiving was good. Thanks for asking, jerks. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> we, I was uh, sick and tired of looking at your damn pictures all day on yeah, Thursday. Yeah, I, I was throwing I was throwing out some meal pics. We went down to New Jersey, where my family is from, and uh, we ate good. And then uh, my fiance's uh, company gave them a like twenty five pound turkey, and 
she had never made a turkey before, so she wanted to make it. And we'll, like our families had already, uh, you know, purchased their turkeys. So we came back Saturday, and she made this 25 pound turkey. So I'm gonna be eating fucking turkey until I can't <laughs> breathe. So, that's amazing. That's a I've big. Had, tu- that's a big dude, turkey. Big turkey for two people. It's cr- it's insane. It's stupid. It's it's gluttonous. And uh, but I'm coming uh, over. But I am a I'm a glutton. So anyway, but uh, as speaking of chamber, did I win the? Uh, the Thanksgiving poll? Uh, you did. It was a uh, it was a two horse race there for a bit. Cynthia made made some ground. I think on I put it out. Uh, so did I really? On Friday. I, I mean, I it was really at bad it. at the start. It was yes, really it was bad super bad. Uh, but I think I think you finished with like fifteen percent of the vote. So. Another poll championship for Bunchu. Oh. I you know reigning you're, supreme. You're playing. You're only playing to the sheep out there. <laughs> hey, I had a great plate. Anyway. You did have a nice plate. I voted uh, for whoever had the mashed potatoes. Yes. Mm, yeah. It was you. <laughs> yes. mm-hmm. I got Bella's vote. Bella, what's your favorite Thanksgiving food? Oh my gosh. Um, after mashed potatoes, probably stuffing. Yeah, oh. I had, yeah, I had, yeah, me too. Did, wait, you had stuffing, mm-hmm. right? I, I had stuffing. Yeah, that, had stuffing. that's my favorite. That's a good one. Um, I also have a ton of stuffing left over. So you guys want to come over? We can you have just another. FedEx me so like overnight me some some stuffing. That'd be sure. terrific. <laughs> it's cold enough up there. Isn't yeah, it? it'll, it'll keep. It'll survive. Not worried about <laughs> it at all. <laughs> anyway, so uh, that's our Thanksgiving update. Um, you know, we had to talk about something fun because. Crypto surely isn't fun at the moment. Uh, we are in a state of disarray and wrecked. Uh, the current Bitcoin price is somewhere in the neighborhood of zero. Yeah. <laughs> Very close to zero. Uh, yeah, C- closer to zero than it is to 20K, that's for sure. <laughs> what sure what is, is the price right now? Are we talking 38 right this second? Um, I think it went down to 36 earlier, 36 and change earlier. Are we going to go Coinbase? Oh, shit, it is uh, 36.97 <laughs> at the moment. Yeah, Ouch. ooh, not great. Ethereum, $109.26. Litecoin is basically free. Um, <laughs> yeah, they're just giving it away. <laughs> free. Uh, Monero, $54. That's pretty crazy. Bella, what do you think about uh, all the stuff going on in the market at this current moment? Um, It's definitely making everyone a little bit nutso on crypto Twitter. And that's for sure. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but otherwise, I'm kind of excited because this is what I've been dreaming of. Yes. Accumulation time, you know? I, yeah. I, yeah, absolutely. This is what I want. Uh, as painful as it is, I know in my heart that it's going to go back up. At least that's my hope. Um, yeah. So now's the time to get in where you fit in. I totally agree. We were actually just talking about that before the show. We were saying, you know, obviously it's painful to watch right now, especially, you know, for people who had bought in at, you know, 20K. Like a year. By the way, it's like my anniversary today. Is it? Yeah. it's, It's Wow. I bought Happy in a, a year ago today. Congratulations! <laughs> for Great <making> decisions. It. <laughs> Look, at least you you're up in love. You've made some I new sure. friends. Started a. Are podcast. you kidding me? I love it. I t- the money I spent in November, well worth it to have uh, to be where we are right now. We're some pretty expensive friends. That's for sure. <laughs> yeah. I've paid more. I've paid more for worse. Um, <sighs> so, but that's what you're saying. It's like you know, obviously it sucks to be wrecked, but. This is kind of what everybody wanted when it was 20k and they were getting in and they were saying, "Hey, you know, I wish I could I wish I could have bought at these prices." And now you can. <laughs> hey, silver lining too. How many shout outs did we get for the podcast over the weekend? Yeah, way, just because we're way named direct. more than we ever did. <laughs> <laughs> just because we're named direct, exactly. Yeah, so, well it. done yeah. on uh, naming us chamber. But Anyway, so we uh, we like to start out with our guest, Bella, just kind of asking, you know, how you got into crypto. What started you on your Bitcoin journey and how did you become Bitcoin Bella? Well, um, I used to be an attorney in a medium sized law firm in downtown Los Angeles. I quit my job in March of 2017 and joined my law partner at that time. So it's me and another guy. Um, and he told me about Bitcoin, and I got some on April Fool's Day of last year. <laughs> Very famous. <fitting. laughs> what was the price on April Fool's Day? That would be an interesting thing to know. I remember him telling me, he was like, hey, listen, let me tell you about Bitcoin. Like, this thing is revolutionary. You know, it's $2,000. It was like 2500 or something. It's a lot, but you should get some. And I was like, oh, my God, that's so expensive. <laughs> no, just trust me. Just get some. Get some. <laughs> 
That's awesome. So yeah, it's so um, it's almost all the way back. It's almost all the way back. It's almost it's still up though. Still up. Still up for what I bought it, but I did some stupid things with it in the meantime. Didn't we all? Uh, yeah, yeah, me too. <laughs> Join the club. So that was that was last year at on April Fool's Day. So you've kind of had you know uh, a short time, and you're a very popular on amongst the crypto Twitter sphere. How did you kind of become Bitcoin Bella? Thanks. Um, I had been on Twitter, you know, since like 2009 or something like that, and I was looking at t- crypto Twitter for a few months before I actually started my own anonymous one, because um, Bella's not my real name. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> um, yeah. Bitcoin's not my first name. Oh my god! I thought it was just a weird coincidence. My whole life is a lie. (laughs) Mind blown. Um, Wait, what was the question? How did I get involved in? How how did did you become kind of Bitcoin Bella? How did the whole persona pot like, you know, take off? And um, I mean, I don't even know how many followers you have now. Probably close to fifteen. No. Um. Uh. How many followers? I have like twenty six. Oh my god! I remember Flexing. when you had. I, like, I remember when you had. I think like you hit like ten k, and it was like a huge deal. And I remember that for some reason. That seems like a long time ago. Or yeah, like I know. It was just a few months ago. <laughs> wow. I feel like Crazy. I've been trying to get to two k for like four months. Now. Me too. I, mean, I can like... and I can't do it. I, I am at heavy, heavy it's resistance. Embarrassing. My no. content is. I'm gonna, we should buy each other uh, followers, Puncher. Well, I, I tweeted about a great Cyber Monday buying follower deal earlier today. <laughs> oh, my God. Are they on oh, discount? Sp- <laughs> speaking of uh, Cyber Monday. for the price of 30 k Speaking of uh, Cyber Monday, um, I actually purchased uh, some, I, I don't know, I, I don't know if I've mentioned this on the show already, but uh, I'm quite good at uh, growing marijuana trees. <laughs> uh, oh, no, you haven't mentioned no. that before. So, um... Yeah, no, you know, we, 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 we grow our own little little bushery, uh, you know, and I had to buy some new seeds. And I noticed the website that I used to buy seeds now accepts Bitcoin. Nice. Uh, so I bought some in Bitcoin today. I figured I'd, you know, try to try Massive to kickstart the economy. Option. Yeah, exactly. You got it. That's awesome. <laughs> I thought that was pretty cool. If that's legal in your state, then I support you. If it's not, then I didn't hear any of this. <laughs> I'm in Canada. It's okay. 100% right. legal uh, in each province. Uh, but actually buying uh, cannabis seeds, is a complete. it was completely legal before cannabis became legal here in Canada. Well, so you, you can just, always buy that just seeds. just happened, right? Yeah, that just happened October 17th. And now you're a farmer. And now I'm, well, just for myself. Right. Uh, yeah. It's a pers- personal farm. Growing my own vegetables, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's like having your own garden. <laughs> yeah. But I thought it was interesting. Yeah, I noticed that the first time I noticed uh, was, uh, w- I don't know, I couldn't have been on for, for very long um, because I didn't notice the last time. But you could buy uh, Bitcoin, Litecoin, Monero, or Ethereum. Wow, that's pretty cool. Nice. That's so a good there buy. you go. Mass, mass adoption. <laughs> anyway. Um, yeah, so, I mean... You're, I was going to say, I forget what I was saying before. Um, you know, crypto Twitter, you're at 20 something thousand followers yeah. now, and we can't break two. But uh, so <laughs> tell us your thoughts on crypto Twitter just as a atmosphere and a place, because I, it's something that is definitely a huge part of the culture. And uh, we'd like to hear your thoughts on it for sure. Um, well, more followers, mo problems, I think. Yeah, I, I believe <laughs> that. <Definitely. laughs> Probably. Yeah, but otherwise, uh, I think it's a fun place to go. You have to have a thick skin, but it's where very witty, clever people who all kind of have the same interests congregate, and I am grateful for it because a lot of people are crypto traders or you know otherwise um, are in the crypto industry and they don't have like jobs to go to, um, you know, nine to five what you would call a normie job. Um, <laughs> and so people are bored at home alone and they need people who are doing the same thing, you know, people who they can relate to. So I think it's really nice. I get a lot of nice messages in my DMs um, for people thanking me just um, for being around, which is really amazing. So yeah, I like it. I think it's a good place. Yeah, I uh, I just updated my iPhone and now it tells me how much screen time I spend Ooh. on specific apps, and I think I'm around a little too much. 
it. Um, I my I spend way too much time on Twitter, as does Chamber. Yeah, think uh, about how bad mine is. I, I I turned my notification off. I said enough of this. I don't need to know. <laughs> well, you are you're loving the salt, Chamber. No. I mean, I love it. Uh, I mean, I was on this weekend, uh, uh, just just enthralled with how how great crypto twitter was uh, i think i spent like two three hours everybody was sleeping it was great uh, the salt is funny right i think i, I love it I, I'm, I'm a big fan um and like you said if you got a thick skin uh it, it's it's a great spot uh i feel i see i think everybody takes it pretty well you don't see too many complaining you know too much complaining or too many whiners out there um it's it's fun it's it's all in fun and everybody's sad right now because then. nobody's making money <laughs> um, what was I going to say? The real question is, Chamber, why don't you have a uh, uh, Santa hat avatar yet? <laughs> I don't. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> not yet. Uh, maybe one day. Uh, maybe on Christmas Day only. I, I feel like I don't like changing my avatar that much. You I used to change it before I was uh, before before I was the skull. I used to change my avatar all the time, and I'm trying to stick to the branding. You know what I mean? <laughs> Yours used to be like an old man or something, right? Used, well, yes. for those Canadians out there, it used to be uh, the cartoon version of Mr. Dress Up. Now, I don't know if all you Americans know. I have know no what, idea what that okay. is. No clue. So Mr. Dress Up and Mr. Rogers actually like were good friends. Uh, so you guys had Mr. Rogers, yes? Uh, yeah. You guys remember? Oh, okay. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, Mr. Dress Up was basically the Canadian version. Uh, Mr. And that, Dress Up? Like, oh my goodness, yeah. Uh, okay. Like, you guys ever hear of Daniel Tiger, for those who have kids? Heck yeah! I know what Daniel Tiger is. Daniel right? Tiger's from Mr. Dress Up. That's where it originated from. Oh, No way, okay. Daniel yeah. Tiger came from Mr. Rogers. Oh. Um, well, they've, they're they great friends, maybe, apparently. Maybe, maybe, they, maybe they switched back and forth. I don't know. They even but sing yeah, the same was, song. It was, it was all like a part Siegfried of the... Are they like Siegfried and Roy? They share a tiger? That's correct. <laughs> okay. But yeah, they're all I part, part of the same cartoons, uh, Mr. Okay? Rogers. Mr. Rogers' neighborhood, uh, they're all part of the Mr. Rogers' neighborhood family. But Mr. Dress Up, okay. that's who the avatar was. Um, that's who I felt. I always feel like an car- old man cartoon. So uh, You I, are an old man cartoon. That's, exactly. <laughs> that's why I picked it. I thought it was, I thought it was the perfect representation of my spirit animal. You know what I mean? Yeah, I hear you. Well, shout Maybe out to... Maybe that's why my kids liked you. Sorry. Maybe that's why my kids because he's were an old man? talking to you. Yeah, no, no a, because I'm you a, look like an old cartoon character. I do look like an old cartoon character. <laughs> I'm calling you Mr. Dress Up from now on. Absolutely, I love okay. it. I'll, 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 I'll send you guys some YouTube clips after. You love right, it. Please do. We're gonna tweet. We'll tweet some out from our, uh, from the, yeah. the podcast uh, feed. Um, anyway, uh, edit, but shout out our buddy uh, Wasserpest uh, Maru. He he made my he he threw my uh, Santa hat on. Oh and really? Th- did he do yours too, Bella? He's the one that started the whole yeah, movement. He, Right. Of doing Santa hats like in October. <laughs> yeah, and he did like a hundred and fifty of them in yeah. like two hours. Really? So, yeah. I didn't. I didn't got one. Well, that's our <laughs> that's our buddy over in uh, Crypto Soup Group. So shout out oh, to those guys over there too. Uh, you know, if you like if you like delicious soups. And I gotta get in into the I gotta get into the inner circle of the soup group. Oh, there's only like forty people in there. It's really? Ooh, course, very yeah. exclusive. <laughs> And uh, yeah, there's some <laughs> weird, weird chats that go down in the <laughs> soup group. Yeah, shout out Eric Bus sa- Short Bus Savior. Oh boy, <laughs> he takes wow. it to a different level. Eric and yeah. uh, Milty, uh, right? Milty, yep. Those two are just pretty nuts. Anyway, um, <laughs> but all right. So the next thing we always like to hear about: we are wrecked podcast. We are wrecked af right now in this market um tell us about some of your best wrecked stories since you've been in crypto dude i've been wrecked from the beginning (laughs) Um, nice yeah besides you know i got some bitcoin but at the time um i had just quit my job as you know and so i wasn't getting a regular income um as a lawyer because I do mostly like I do different types of cases but some of our some of them are contingency cases so it takes a while for cases to settle and um, be done so you know I wasn't getting a regular paycheck so I started to use my Bitcoin and sell it for rent money mm. right so Ouch. and I did that in like Ooh. summer of 2017 and I thought oh no big deal I will just I'll just buy more buy some more yeah. and then of course yeah Bitcoin started to go up and up and up and then by that time I couldn't get what I had started with so you know the rule is always once you buy it or once you use it then 
replace it right away, but I couldn't do that at the time, so wrecked as <laughs> f. <laughs> <laughs> that's like, a that's a pretty interesting point because I feel like that happened. Like you know, we've talked about it before, where you know. Bitcoin originally was meant to be spent. You know what I mean? Like we've talked about it with a bunch of our guests, like walk in and everything. And then you see it do that and you're like, shit, I shouldn't have spent it. So I wonder, you know, in the future where that's going to fall. Chamber, you got any thoughts on that? Uh, You know what? I'm I'm not sure. Is it going to be like? Are we talking like gold? Is it going to be the equivalent of gold? What gold is now? Is that what we're talking about? Also, yeah, some people think of. that it's not going to be a currency. That it's more of a store of value, like yeah. gold versus you know. I mean, currency. I would have trouble. Like I, we were talking about me spending some earlier today, and I did what Bella, you know, said to do. Is is I replaced it right away. So I used it. You and did. I replaced oh, it. Yeah. Good on you. <laughs> uh, well, I mean, how can you not? I mean, like this is like that. Whatever I use today, you know, Cyber Monday the, deal, dude. Exactly. Uh, <laughs> exactly. It's a Cyber Monday <laughs> deal for all of crypto. Um, so yeah, I replaced it right away. But yeah, I mean, that could that could end up being a very expensive purchase in a year from now. You know what I mean? Looking yeah, back. Absolutely. Yeah. It's like um, that pizza that some that yeah. Guy right. Bought. Exactly. That was in it's my like, city. Oh. It, was, it was yeah, yeah. Jacksonville, home of great Jacksonville. decisions. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's Florida. <laughs> My life is a direct reflection of that. Duval. Duval. <laughs> um, C- Cynthia, I know you've talked about it before. Like, what do you think about that? Do you think it's going to be store of value? Do you think it's going to be something like, you know, are we going to find a, a steady I, area and then it's just going to be currency forever? What do you think? I don't know. I think it's so speculative right now that I can't see people, like, at least anytime soon, wanting to actually spend it. Um, no, you know, I, I think it'll be like the true USD. It'll be the tethers. Those are, Shut those, up. <laughs> I, no, I honestly think so. Like, Oh, I thought you I said don't, Bitcoin don't. was going to be that. No, no, no. Like, But I think those are what's going to be the, 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 you know, the exchange the of currency. funds. Yeah. You know what I mean? Where I know that it, you can peg it. Right. Like, I don't know if it's necessarily tether, but maybe it's something, you know, a stable coin of some sort. That's what's right. going to be the currency. That makes yeah. the most sense. That makes sense. That makes sense. Uh, I'll just say this. Bitcoin did a terrible job of storing my value. Yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> so yeah. I'm not sure. You know, it's funny, though, because I was complaining about, y- you know, um, using it, but I actually made money. So I just didn't make enough because I spent it too right. early. So I'm right. pissed because I spent it too early, but I was still right. up. You were still in the green. Yeah. Profit, That's a profit. weird thing about crypto is people get mad for s- selling too early, even mm-hmm. though they made a profit. Right. And, the, and a lot of sometimes times. lots of profit. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know, but, it, welcome mm-hmm. to crypto, the market where you'll be mad at selling a 10x because it did 100x. Right. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> so anyway, got any other uh, good rec stories for us out there, Bella? Um, well, you know, I once I got into altcoins. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that is kind of where my life fell into shambles. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> um well, I actually went on Twitter to look for altcoins, you know, to look and see what people were talking about um, and look up cash tags and stuff like that. That's how I found crypto Twitter. But um, yeah, so when you first start, like you don't really know what's going on. And I had no experience even looking at any kind of charts or anything like that with stocks or anything. Although I knew in my heart, like buy low, sell high. I didn't know what high and low was. So my right. friend told me about MadeSafe which was, I think it's like the decentralized internet or something. They've been working yep. on it even before Bitcoin <laughs> started. And there's still, I don't know if there's anything in operation yet, but um, I thought it sounded so neat. So I bought some, and of course I bought it at the top. Um, and that was my first altcoin and I bought a bunch of it. And when altcoins started to moon, I think it was around, um, was that like November or December when things started yeah. Or November or something like that. Yeah, That's November, about right? Okay, yeah. and then it, started, it went back down. Yeah, yeah and then it went like back up. November, December, and then January was kind of like peak, peak, and then all of yeah. a sudden we fell off a cliff. Yeah. Well, I remember <laughs> in December there was like some really good deals, but anyways, before that, um, I thought, well, maybe I'll just sell my made safe at a loss, buy something else, and then have that go up. 
because everything was going up. That makes sense to me. It makes sense, <laughs> yeah, in theory, but it didn't work. <laughs> <laughs> Although I did buy a couple of good things in December when things were really low, and I sold them in January, right? But Perfect. The problem is that you get so excited when you sell something, you want to get back in right away. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. So although I may have made a profit, um, those were all for naught because in January I ended up buying some more alts. At right. You know, and then I didn't sell any of, any of my dragon. <laughs> I had a lot of dragon. Mm, that's a tough one. <laughs> yeah, you, you and pretty much everybody in, uh, in crypto Twitter had some dragon. Um, mm -hmm. Those KuCoin yeah. coins really pumped in January. Oh, they and sure did. And I just did. watched them all <laughs> pump, and then I watched them go down, and I really have no idea why I didn't sell them. Isn't it funny? Like, I look back at some of those things that I didn't sell to, and I'm just like, that was like greedy. Thinking. I was like, I was so greedy. <laughs> right, exactly. Yeah, it's just right. human nature to be greedy like that, waiting for more. Mm -hmm. Well, you so, also think a little like that, that, like Bella said before, you don't know what the top is. Obviously, if I knew what the top was, I would sell at or near the top. But right, this yeah. is something that we've never really seen before. And we were kind of, you know, naive to it a little bit. And you're just like, oh, well, this is just the beginning. Because you always hear people like, oh, this is just the beginning, just the beginning. And then, right. you know, so. Well, and I don't think any of us on on the show today, uh, we weren't in for the last bull run, right? Like, not the 2017 bull run. I mean, the 2013 or whatever it was. No, I was not. Yeah, no. Uh, so some of those people that were in, they maybe knew what to expect. Uh, but, you know, we were we basically got on at different parts of the upswing. You know what I mean? Uh, right. I, I was a little closer to the top of the upswing. <laughs> 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 but um, but yeah, no, I don't I didn't know what a down market looked like. Uh, so and it was like you said, it was pumping so hard for so long. It, you, you, I think everybody assumed it was going to go back up at some point And it and it really just didn't. Well, and here we and are. <laughs> and then the whole way down, everybody's yelling at you to buy the dip. And oh, yeah. Like, oh, okay. This must be oh, the bottom. 12K dip. 10K dip. Right. Exactly. 8K dip. <laughs> oh, I've bought a lot of dips. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Chamber, I think you're the dip buying. Master. I am. I yes. am. When you dip, I dip, we dip. All right. <laughs> I was, I was going to say that same thing. I'm glad you said it because I was going to. <laughs> Bella, so like, did you end up... Uh, you know, holding all the way back down. Did you eventually say, "F this"? I'm gonna sell what I have and and recoup some 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 money. What did you do? Um, most of my portfolio is still there. It's just down. I've mm -hmm. started a new portfolio <laughs> where I can redo. start over I'm up again. On that one. Right. I called it my redo. Blockfolio actually has like the capacity. I don't know. Delta probably does too to have multiple portfolios. So I started a new one, um, and that one is up. Nice. <laughs> yeah, and the other one I just I don't know. Just don't, don't try not to look at it too much, really. Exactly. There's nothing That's... I can do about it, and I'm not going to sell things at an eighty percent, you know, loss. Yeah. There's no point. I don't you need. You just got to hold on and hope. Yeah, because if exactly. not, there's no point in selling it right now. Yeah. If it dies, it dies. If it if I sold it at a loss and it even went up to back to baseline, I would go neck Be myself. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I hear you. <laughs> I hear you. That's oh awesome. Well, thanks for sharing those stories. We'll uh, move on to our next segment, which is the news. <laughs> Chamber, want to give it, get us started with the news? Yeah, I sure do. Uh, sure do. <laughs> <laughs> there is a great story here on CCN. Uh, the only source for crypto news. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's the only one I have saved in my bookmarks. The line here is, Alleged Bitcoin launderer begins hunger strike to protest Western extradition. Uh, so this gentleman, Alexander Vinnick, the alleged administrator of defunct exchange BTCE, reportedly began a hunger strike on Monday following a series of developments in his case, has seen uh, authorities in the U.S., France, and Russia jockey to extradite him into their custody. Ooh, U.S., France, or Russia. Man, I'd be hoping for France. Wow. Heck yeah. yeah, I was going to say, I was going to say Heck that yeah. one of those things is not like the other. <laughs> Ooh. I mean, I'm assuming the prison system in the U.S. is slightly better than Russia, uh, but maybe not by much. Uh, France definitely seems like you'd get like croissants and wine like at lunch. <laughs> 
Uh, yeah, that's what they give you. It's just yeah. croissants and water. <laughs> yeah, uh, it sounds terrific. Uh, <laughs> a report by a Russian news agency, TASS, or TASS, revealed that the head of Vinick's legal team, Timofey Mus- uh, Musatov, uh, stated that Vinick decided to embark on a hunger strike as a response to what, is described, or to what he describes as illegal actions on the part of the French and Greek authorities. So this guy apparently laundered uh, just under five billion worth of Bitcoin. He attained five billion. Uh, yeah, Ooh. four point nine billion to be specific. Holy um, that he obtained illegally uh, through such activities as the two thousand fourteen Mount Gox hack. So oh, um, maybe he, he helped launder some of that. Uh, so wait, but why is he doing? A, I don't. I still don't get why he's doing a hunger strike. <laughs> Um, I think to, just to protest. So apparently, uh, France and Greece uh, are also trying to. Or, well, we talked about France, but Greece also trying to extradite him. Uh, but the, apparently, the way they're going about trying to extradite him, uh, he sees as illegal. Um, so that's why he's doing the hunger strike. Because he has great moral authority. Clearly. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Of course. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But he didn't think the money laundering five billion dollars. No. No. That's bad. fine. Would you hunger strike anything? I'm trying to think of anything that I would hunger strike. I'm. I'm a little too hefty to I be like striking on food. Mm-mm. Yeah, Mm-mm. hunger strike. Yeah. Ooh. I couldn't hunger strike. I, I mean, give me like any other type of strike. What about <laughs> uh, not to get not to get crass, but November? I, I don't know if you guys uh, have seen this. The yeah. no no nut November. Is, we're at the 26th. <laughs> There's gonna be some grumpy ass dudes out there. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I, I don't know if I'd be doing that one either. No, I, I would do the hunger strike first. I think. <laughs> I'm a man. I'm a man who enjoys my vices. Yeah. Um, and, uh, so I, I definitely couldn't hunger strike. Bella, could you hunger strike? No way. I can't even do the um, intermittent fasting. You know, yeah. eating the. You mean going to bed and then waking yeah. up and having breakfast? <laughs> Not waking up in the middle of the night yeah. to eat a bowl of cereal. Uh, that is difficult. It's difficult. I, look, I keep I keep popcorn next to my bed. So. Shut up! Oh my uh, god. I have. I 100% believe that. (laughs) That's hilarious. Uh, You know, midnight, they call it a midnight snack for a reason. I'm going to get off this podcast and eat a pint of frozen yogurt. So that's what's looking me in the eye when I get home. (laughs) That cereal is the best late night snack. Cereal is a good one. It's my favorite. Chamber, what's your favorite late night snack? I mean, cereal sounds great. Um, I I do like a um, a peanut either a peanut butter and jam sandwich or something like white bread with a glass of milk. That's heck that's a yeah, that's a good one too. Like j- just a straight PB and J, or if I'm feeling fancy and I got them in the house, a peanut butter banana. Ooh, that's Ooh. a nice sandwich. Mm. That sounds yeah. Elvisy. Elvis used to eat peanut butter banana. And I sandwiches. do have the physique I of love uh, peanut butter and banana. Of blue Hawaii Elvis. So. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I hope you don't suffer the same fate. I know. Chamber. Oh, what a way to go. <laughs> Bella, is your favorite midnight snack uh, cereal? Uh, it's anything that's in the fridge. So that yep. could be a scoop of <laughs> peanut butter to like a block of cheese or cereal. If, I, if I'm lucky enough to have cereal, then I will eat it. <laughs> that's good it, it, uh, I, I don't know I guess mine mine would be mine would be ice cream I think um, if ice cream's I a good it. one or you know or ju- I would just you know order a pizza if they still delivered <laughs> but anyway <laughs> Cynthia r- your news story um, yes my news story is uh, are institutional investors accumulating bitcoin while retailers panic um I feel like this is like a, you know, a, to- a talking point that's just always going on. Wondering, every time we have a new dip, you know, and, and you know, institutional money, institutional uh, money. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, and you know, and uh, these guys, they are good at, you know, because a lot of people say like, well, if institutional investors are putting their money into the market, the price should be going up. Well, these guys are really good at doing it in ways that aren't going to manipulate the price. Right. Aren't they going to go like OTC? Yeah. Over-the-counter numbers are not, you know, public. Are you telling me they're not using their Coinbase app to buy billions of dollars? Yeah, no. We have no way of really knowing. So the whole article is just about whether it's unclear whether institutions are. That makes sense to me. I mean, accumulating or not. That makes sense. I mean, we've all like. 
on Twitter and, and news sources we've seen, like even when I was at like, you know, hovering between six and seven K for what felt like forever. Um, a lot of people were saying like, this is not where institutional money comes in to buy. There's going to be another leg down. And I feel, yeah. I mean, it makes sense that this would be where they get in unless there's another huge unless leg down. Unless it's going even lower. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so tell me if this sounds really dumb. Um, I always have thought this, but at the risk of sounding stupid, haven't really said it, but <laughs> if, it, but I'm gonna, so, but if, you know, if you got all these institutional people or these huge whales that are buying OTC, right? And like you said, their goal is to get Bitcoin at the cheapest price they possibly can. Wouldn't, wouldn't buying OTC, which typically comes with, um, you know, some kind of at least a couple percentage points discount because of the way you're purchasing it. Why wouldn't people, you know, if you're these big guys spending billions of dollars or hundreds of millions of dollars, you buy up as much as you can off of the exchange, sell it onto the exchange to suppress or lower prices, and then you buy it back with all of your money. Does that make sense? <laughs> I, th- I think so. Yeah, but... Uh uh, uh, I don't know. Uh, Did I, I just was, break brains here? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm thinking think. about what you just said. <laughs> so if you buy it over the counter and you're not doing it on the exchange, right? You're probably buying it at a little bit of a discount, and then it's not reflected in the prices on exchanges. Is it so worth that, it to get like the two or three percent discount? Well, sure, absolutely. Especially if you're going to go immediately dump it on the market on right. the exchanges. But wouldn't it have more value holding on to it? and get a you know well, four or five six. well i mean if you were just continually uh buying cheap and then selling back in exchange i mean if you think about what percentage of millions and millions of dollars but wouldn't that but drive it that to would zero also, really quick? that would also yeah manipulate the price really bad well i mean it's essentially and you can't just of... dump that much money on an exchange yeah they shut well, that right shit down. i mean i guess not all at there's once, gotta be yeah it, 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 i feel like it would so it is like the price too much, you, yeah. No, no, no. Tell me Pretty it much. It's <laughs> stupid. Chamber. I mean, bunch, <laughs> fucking bunch, dummy. Yeah, it's stupid. <laughs> Didn't the, um, the empty Gox, like, trustee or something do that? I yeah. Don't, wasn't he selling the Bitcoin yeah, like, on the yeah, exchange? Yeah, he was dumping on exchanges for sure. They Pretty like, much like the same time that? every day for a, a, for like a week or a month or something. <laughs> there was like a time I forget when it was, but it felt like every day at the same time you were seeing a thousand can a thousand dollar candle down, and uh, that was all supposedly his. Yeah, the Bart wasn't the Bart Simpson formations. Is that what they were? Yeah, right. He was Bart he's Bart. the inventor of the Bart. Um, anyway, uh, that was my dumb idea of the day. That wasn't a dumb idea. That was a good idea. I mean, it was good to think <laughs> about, but it just, it just, you couldn't. It was a it. thought experiment. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. I won't. Uh, sorry, I won't do those anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I won't. I won't think. Um, all right. My my last news story here. Will Ohio's acceptance of Bitcoin for tax payments increase the legitimacy of crypto? So this was a cool story, I guess, that I saw over the um, weekend here that businesses in the state of Ohio are now permitted to settle tax payments using Bitcoin. Um, So state treasurer Josh Mandel, who initially proposed the integration of Bitcoin to the state to facilitate the growth of local cryptocurrency industry, uh, stated that he views the dominant cryptocurrency as a legitimate form of currency. Um, So basically, all these businesses can now pay their taxes with Bitcoin. Um, You know, people are saying... uh, that the public perception is changing and hopefully this is going to lead to you know some more mass ado- adoption it says here from a speculative mass technology to widespread asset class the public's perception of cryptocurrencies has started to change um as these months have passed the entrance of fidelity ice new york stock exchange goldman sachs morgan stanley and other uh you know multi-billion dollar conglomerates are now you know accepting bitcoin and uh either building trading desks or things like that um so you know this is a big step towards our favorite word mass Mass adoption adoption. (laughs) so i i think it's cool um if you were a business would you pay your taxes in bitcoin chamber um, no. Why? Uh, I don't think I would. I feel like it's too exp- I feel Nobody like you, is you throw spending away it. Money. You, you want, I would spend it at 20K, not at 38K, or 30, you, know, you know what I mean, 3,800. Yeah. So, yeah, but I, 
Uh, so you're saying if you held Bitcoin, if you held Bitcoin, like you wouldn't if, do it. I, if I was a business, I would be absolutely taking Bitcoin right now. Heck yeah. Accepting you know what I mean? it, sure. Um, I wouldn't necessarily be paying my taxes with it right now just because I know the market a little bit better than I did a year ago. Um, I would be using it to pay. If I could wait, you know, a year and start spending it, you know, that's a different story. It's easier to spend it, it this way, though. What if you what if your other option was, you know, your business credit card? And in order to pay your taxes, you were being charged a 7% fee and you could buy Bitcoin and use that to pay your taxes yeah, for that makes a sense. much less fee. I think 100%. that's kind of I think that's probably where most of these businesses will be coming from because, you know, how many of these businesses are holding Bitcoin as is sure. unless right. they're already accepting it, you know what I mean? Right. But even the ones that are already accepting it, most of them convert back. Yeah. You yeah, know? no that makes mm-hmm. sense. Bella, you, rede- you redeemed on yourself for by taxes. The way. Uh, thanks. <laughs> oh, that's really interesting that you asked that. Um this guy Meat TC on Twitter. I don't know if you've seen him. He's a, a lawyer. Oh, Meat. Yeah, Meat. He actually kind of broke it down a little bit. He said, you know, it's only available to businesses, which is what you said, but it also only applies to certain business taxes. Mm. Um, so although it seems like yay, mass adoption is kind of like limited, very limited, and also like the payment is Bitcoin, but it's converted to dollars before it's paid to the government. So it's not like the government's actually accepting right. Bitcoin. Um, I mean, yeah, I, anything that it's like is... Di- it's like dipping the toe in the water. You know? Right. So that's good. If other s- states follow suit, then I think that would be good for mass adoption. Um, I don't know if... I mean, I know my name is Bitcoin Bella, but I don't know if Bitcoin is ready for mass adoption at this time. So, it, no, I, I don't want mass adoption just yet. Yeah. I'm in. I feel like I'm in on the ground floor here. Let's let's accumulate before exactly. mass and adoption they to, hits. Yeah, they need to fix some things too. You know, like private keys. That's weird and hard that is for weird people and hard. to handle, right? Um, yep. Yeah, yep, absolutely. No refunds, like that kind of thing. It's just a difficult situation right now. So I think they need to. Everything needs to kind of be. Um, squared up and like the price discovery needs to kind of happen we need to get to the point of like you said wherever it stops if it does stop Mm -hmm. um, for things to be more stable before more of this kind of stuff should happen in my opinion but I don't want to be a fudder like hurt anyone's feelings god damn it Bella you fudder (laughs) I know I don't know if that fud is the right term but just like because my name is Bitcoin Bella people expect me to just be gung-ho about every single thing Right. And I'm actually more critical about things. You're a realist. No, yeah, I think so. That Maybe you could be called Critcoin Bella. <laughs> critical about about Bitcoin. Crit, Critcoin. <laughs> I love it. Um, <laughs> anyway, that's going to do it for our news. We are going to move along to our rapid fire. Um, so, Bella... This is the rapid fire segment where we let our listeners kind of get to know you a little bit more by asking you some questions. Some may be crypto related, some may not. Um, so just have fun with it and answer, you know, whatever you comes to your mind. So um, we talked a little bit about it at uh, the beginning. Christmas is coming. Um, so, you know, it's the holiday season, if you will. Um, what is your favorite Christmas? movie oh love actually Ooh, oh that's, that's a, a good one that's a good interesting one. Uh, I, I, was, I saw that one come across my you know I don't know if what it, where, where, where I was watching stuff but it came across I had never seen that before and a lot of people seem to have uh, good good appreciation for it it's a cheesy Hugh Grant movie but it's got people with British accents and <laughs> <Isn't that the laughs> I always like that is the guy from Walking <laughs> Dead in that I want to say is that the one is that the uh, same one is he in that because he's British remember. and re- he's British IRL. Yes, he is. I think he's in it. IRL. You're talking about Rick Grimes. Rick, yeah, yeah. I think so. I'm not sure. I haven't seen the movie in a while, but um, I'm gonna have, have to give it a watch. Yeah, I All didn't right. know it was a Christmas movie either. That was interesting. Yes, it's one of those that's like it's one of those that's like could be a Christmas movie or is a Christmas movie, but doesn't need to be watched right. at Christmas. You know, what like I mean? Die Hard. Yeah, which we can get to another time. Um, it, oh, is Die Hard a Christmas movie? Let's just. Do I've it. heard. I've heard that. Yeah. Die Hard a Christmas movie? Yeah. 
there's a huge conglomerate out there that will tell you that Die Hard is a Christmas movie and you can F off if you say it's not. Yeah. So I, I'm I'm team They're no serious. on Die Hard a Christmas movie. Actually my I think it is a Christmas movie and last <laughs> year when, when I had like a hundred followers um, I saw a Christmas card that was a Nakatomi Plaza, which is like where the incident occurred in the movie. And I had my friend change it to Satoshi Nakamoto Plaza. Nice. <laughs> but, and so I posted it. Nobody cared. But I might repost it again and see if you know anybody gives it a like this year. Yes, post it again this year <laughs> and it will stir up a grand debate on if Die Hard is a Christmas movie or not. But So, um, all right. How about... One place on your travel bucket list. Oh my gosh. I have to go to Italy. I haven't been there yet. I need to eat the pasta. Yes. Pasta is a great midnight snack, by the way. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> I've I've been to Italy twice. I've actually gotten to go and it's one of my favorite places. It's pretty awesome. So definitely get out there if you can. Mm-hmm. Um how about I think we covered this. What was your your what was your f- favorite altcoin you've ever owned? Like one that you felt like you would, you know, marry your bags to. You're right oh at high cord. No, I hate I I need to love all my altcoins, but I don't care about any of my altcoins. My altcoins are a vehicle <laughs> to get more bitcoin. So your favorite your it's bitcoin bella. <laughs> yes. There are projects that I like, but I don't think that they're correlated to their coins, you know? Mm-hmm. Um so I like Block Party, which is ticketing on the blockchain, and I'm actually going to be working with them. Um, plug, small plug, to do interviews um, for musical artists and stuff like that. And they're actually like, and the reason why I like them is because they're actually a real company, and they have already like um, had a concert with using their ticketing process on the blockchain. So I got a quick question for you. As soon as you said sure. Block Party, I'm like, also a great band, and then you say that it's a part of. <laughs> Music, uh, does the band Block Party have anything to do with the company Block Party? No, they don't, but hopefully uh, they can have a concert with using their yeah, system. That's maybe a gr- in the future. That would be a great concert. <laughs> Bella, it is very funny that you mentioned Block Party just uh, because I got a message from somebody who is um, affiliated with them, I guess, about to, to take a look at the platform and stuff just the other day and i you said block party i'm like "Hmm, that rings a bell i just went to my dm so uh i have one waiting for me to look at so shout out uh deedle i will get back to you i'm sorry but yeah block party looked pretty cool uh, oh speaking of speaking of deedle um a weird thing happened with deedle today Oh yeah, uh, where he knew your, where he knew. Uh, you not, were. Now, I've always <laughs> said. So I, I tweeted out. I kind of again half doxed myself. Uh, we were talking about. Oh, and it was a Bella tweet. Oh, perfect. This is yes, this it is, was. This, this is perfectly out. relevant. <laughs> yeah. Do so me? you had yes, you had tweeted out something like, "Do your parents know that you're a cartoon avatar?" Yeah. Uh, so, something along those lines, and I'm like, and I tweeted back, I'm like, "Yeah, my mom listens to the show." And, you know, she wants to call me Chamber. And I'm like, Mom, my name's Chad. Oh, yes. And then Deedle comes in. <laughs> off and the top said, rope. <laughs> off the top rope and says something like, you must be married to an Amber. And <gasps> right, I so saw weird. that. I, I am married to an Amber. And I've always made the joke that Chad and Amber go together like, you know, Barbie and Ken. Uh, so I don't know if they had made that jump or they had somehow figured out that my wife was Amber or, you know what I mean? Which is kind of weird. I'm going to guess why. I'm going to guess how. Uh, I mean, there's ways to figure it out. Well, you have an alternate account that has your name. Yeah. And I've talked about her on the cast and... I think she's maybe commented on some of the rec podcast stuff. That's what yeah. I was thinking. So, I mean, oh, you could make it. that yeah. jump. I don't think he what would do that. That's weird. That's random. <laughs> it, it was, was pretty funny, I thought. <laughs> I, I thought it was hilarious because uh, I actually, I think th- that they had, it, I, I don't, is, is Deedle a, a, a male or a female? I, I wasn't sure. Male. Cause in the, it, okay, because in the picture there was both, and I wasn't sure which one was which. Um, 
So I didn't know. I thought maybe they had made the logical conclusion that any Chad would have to be married to an Amber, which is the conclusion <laughs> I come to. That's uh, pretty funny. That every single Chad is definitely dating an Amber of some sort. That's pretty funny. <laughs> Let us know what how he found out. Yeah, yeah so well, 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 find uh, out now. I'm, yeah, I, I, it, it's it's killing me inside. So I gotta know. Nice try, uh, FBI. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we. I'm going back to the Christmas well here. Um, how about what is the best? Christmas present you ever received? Wow, that is a really difficult. Um, that's a difficult question. L- lately, this is really lame, but I like things like socks. <laughs> <laughs> you know, when you get older, you just need like oh, yeah. really the essentials, the essential items, and like my mom's have given me socks and like things I need like socks are one of the (laughs) as an older as an older gentleman uh coming into an older age here uh I have a really big problem with socks because I can never keep them matched and so like anytime a socks go into the wash they like never come back with the correct pair I don't know (laughs) what the fuck happens but so socks anytime someone gets me socks I love it and I I actually tweeted out a couple of weeks ago I think I just want to be rich enough to never have to worry about that I just want to have new pair of socks every day so I don't have to worry about matching them out of the laundry I've had the (laughs) same tweet because that's what I've been waiting for this whole bull market so I can throw out all my old socks and get like a hundred new (laughs) fresh white socks get some ball of socks that's totally me do you have any bitcoin socks no bitcoin socks i try not to wear like bitcoin paraphernalia i mean it could be like c- crypto related but i just don't want to be advertising like hey, hey come rob me come yeah. rob me for my no money <laughs> <laughs> um all right let's go with how about this one this is a uh, always a good one what is your go-to karaoke song Oh my gosh! Any Guns N' Roses song would yeah. work. Also, Seems I know reasonable. a lot of yeah. yeah, I know a lot of Beastie Boys songs that I could probably. Oh my god! Yes. Sing. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> um, Chambery, we got one more here. I don't have I'm the list to... up in front of me. Do uh, 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 oh, uh, about, let's do. Oh, how about the new one? How about which one? Oh, that was that's a good one. Yeah. How? Uh, what would be since we've been talking about food? Uh, a lot of this podcast um what would be your death row meal <laughs> oh brother um i like i would probably get a lobster with oh. some butter Mm-hmm. yeah bougie probably lobster with butter what would yours be chamber um i was thinking about this after i texted you. i thought that was I, I stole that question from another podcast that i was listening to i think it was uh the pete holmes uh podcast so shout out to pete holmes uh, you're not, definitely yeah, not listening he's listening he's definitely not listening <laughs> uh, <laughs> but uh I, I started thinking about it and this is gonna upset some people there is a pizza place uh close to my house that you can pick up slices, and they are the best slices, w- regardless of, of what you like. But the best slice is a is a double Hawaiian with a, hot sauce. A, a double Hawaiian. It is so good, uh, with with a root beer. With a root beer, I mean that's like it's it's the best thing I've ever had. Good thing uh, you're on death row because crypto Twitter would yeah, have your neck anyway. <laughs> it's a hot take, but that is straight up one of my yeah. That's one of my favorite foods. I can't oh, we're on the same team. Yeah, you're you're pro team. Hawaiian. Yeah. Oh yeah. Heck okay. Yeah. The only kind of pizza I eat, right? I'm. That's the, I'm kind of. I'm indifferent to Hawaiian. Fair I'm enough. Not, like I'm not gonna. If it's you're not the trying only to take pizza, our rights away. If it's the only pizza there, I'm gonna eat it. Um, but I'm probably not ordering it. You know what I mean? Well, shout out, like shout out to Crypto Bully for you yeah. know all of his hot food takes. Uh, I keep his forgetting. His food takes are against. garbage. <laughs> I'm calling him out. His I, food uh, takes are garbage. They make me so upset. He does I it just, to trigger I, us. Oh yeah, I, it's, I it's represent totally... a good. I, I Go was gonna say I, re- I respect a good hot take, and that man comes with with the hot takes. It's scolding hot. Yeah, I love it. White hot takes even. <laughs> I used to like be able to just take you know not get triggered until he came after my ranch, and <laughs> I'm a Me southern too. woman, and I put ranch on everything. And if you like start hating dressing? on ranch, you are yeah. freaking dead to me, dead. I told my husband all the time that <laughs> yes, That's but so it's got to be homemade ranch dressing, not the bottled crap. I make my own uh, dressing. Oh, interesting. And mm. I, I told my husband all the time good. that I, I would eat cardboard dipped in ranch. 
Cardboard is just a vehicle to get your ranch to, to your yeah, mouth. Exactly. That's right. That's yes. Totally so the true. altcoin to the I bitcoin. Would literally, funny. yeah. So would your death row meal just be just uh, a, t- a vat of ranch? Yeah, and it cardboard. Would be a big bowl of ranch. <laughs> <laughs> it's a that, pizza box. I would want to bathe gonna... in ranch. <laughs> they can make that happen. <laughs> they, 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 you could pay for just about anything these days. I'm sure we can make a ranch bath. Are you a death I, row uh, state too? By the way, uh, is Florida death row? Yes, we are. Uh, what about what about you, bunch? Are you in a death row state? Uh, I don't believe so. I don't think. All right, good. Is. You can just go on eating all you want and yeah, murder well, I'm all the people. Eat myself and... to death. <laughs> <laughs> Self murder. Uh, yeah. Exactly. I actually dip my pizza in ranch. You guys, speaking of pizza, uh, I've done that too. So it is it's the best. A favorite of mine too. I'm with you there sister so anyway sorry right, that that was our rapid fire segment we are just going to do an update of the wrecked index brutal savage wrecked um chamber update us it's not looking great guys i'm gonna be, I'm gonna be honest uh, it's pretty wrecked uh but that being said we are still up uh fifth almost 16 percent in btc value anybody want to take a guess on what we're down in usd Oof, 30. 30% is my guess. 38.5%. Hey, ah, pretty right. bloody. Pretty Painful. bloody. Dang, we were doing so good for a while there. We were doing, well, you know we're. what, we're going to get back there. We're going to get back there. Ah, man. All right. Well, Bella, do you have any, um, any projects that you are interested in that we might be able to add to our wrecked index fund? Um... You know, I've been getting into micro caps lately, and I don't think that I should be shilling those to you guys. <laughs> um, Ch- Chamber would be all about your micro. Yeah, I'd caps. love a good micro cap. <laughs> yeah, if you head on to Trade Ogre, you'll see all the stuff yeah. that I've been looking at. <laughs> I have been looking at Trade Ogre. Right, not financial um, advice, but they're no, kind of fun definitely. because yeah, um, they're illiquid, but when they are liquid and they start moving around. That's where you get your um, 10x's in a bear market. Yeah. Interesting. Mm-hmm. So we, I, I just coined a new term here. Be, uh, not financial advice, but maybe financial advice. Yeah. Fun, yeah. Definitely financial fun, advice. Financial advice. I like there it. There you go. So, yes, Redeeming fun, yourself. Yes, financial advice. Um, anyway. All right. Well, so... All right, give us one micro cap we can go play with. But no, I can't. Maybe a KuCoin, maybe a KuCoin gem. There are no more KuCoin gems. Oh, <laughs> you, those are fighting words to chamber. I yeah, know there, there are, are Ku, there are KuCoin gems. I, I can I give you one because I found a great one that's just looking sweet. Yeah, I, I would like to know. Let's yeah. do it for financial purposes. Yeah, only. financial advice. I just bought some. Uh, Deep brain chain on KuCoin is down like 99%. Yes, I that's feel- why I'm so <laughs> triggered. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, like, is that the one you tweeted is- about the other day? Yeah, that's what I tweeted about the other day. That one is sweet. I bought uh, a pretty sizable bag of Deep Brain Chain, so uh, low, low, uh, low risk, high Can reward. Can you tell me what Deep Brain Chain is? It has to do with um, artificial intelligence and like a platform to get information to different artificial intelligence companies. It's not actually artificial intelligence itself, I believe. Um, I mean, if it does work out in the future, the fundamentals are, I thought, were good. Um, And I believe that they're still good if people are still working on it and it's still, you know, a project. Yeah, I just read they they signed some some uh, new, you know, uh, what do you call it, uh, allegiances with some other pretty big companies. Uh, so I don't know. Pretty it sure. sounds like they're still working. Cool. cool. Awesome. Well, that's going to do it for us. Um, Bella, we want to give you a chance to let people know how to find you. If there's anything you're working on that you'd like people to know about, uh, this is your opportunity to let the people know. Um, floor's yours. Oh, so you guys can find me on Twitter at Bitcoin Bella with an underscore at the end. Um, one day I might be able to get my original handle back, but until then, put that underscore in. What happened um, to it? Oh, that's my Rex story. <laughs> All right, I was go so for it. I'm so stupid. Okay, you guys, I didn't realize that like people, these people were following me. Like everybody has been following me, and actually like caring about stuff. I don't know if they're caring or whatever, but people are 
following me and paying attention to my handle because um, <laughs> Bully Crypto Bully changed his name to Bully Esquire, mm-hmm. I think in July or something like that. And I didn't think anybody cared about my handle, so or that my handle was a um, what, how do you call it? Like a, I didn't think that anybody cared about me basically <laughs> fair enough <laughs> right okay so Except for those twenty six thousand people yeah i was like it doesn't matter so anyways i changed my name i was like that's a good idea it was like midnight and i changed my name to <laughs> bella esquire immediately somebody oh, grabbed bitcoin that. bella really? and they started sending me um um dms like oh my God, holding ransom? it for ransom yeah no <laughs> that's crazy that is pretty crazy that is a wrecked, that is wrecked that's, that's a wreck story a wreck dude story. i was so sad um i changed it back because people started saying like who's bella esquire and like where's bitcoin bella and then they were going to the wrong page and that person like stole screenshots or they took screenshots of me when i did a periscope one time and we were putting up terrible photos oh you know just God. not good angles and everything wow. and um yeah they were trying they're still trying to get money from me i just blocked them because i can't negotiate with terrorists that's right <laughs> oh my See god that. that is a wreck story that's a that's wreck crazy. story that made me sad wow. i still think about it um it, yeah that's crazy so I, all right give us the correct <laughs> handle again it is bitcoin bella with an underscore at the end um, so, or you can find me on, sorry, you can find me on YouTube, um, www.youtube.com slash Bitcoin Bella without the underscore. Um, I'm also on Facebook, Bitcoin Bella. Or you can well, email me if you what want. Is, uh, what's Facebook uh, crypto like? I try not to go there too much. Once in a while, <laughs> yeah. I'll post something. <laughs> um, I'm just doing it just in case as a backup, like in case my Twitter goes away. We do this. You know, I'll have... Right, I'll have some other way to get a hold of people or for people. Do you to get not find though that Facebook is just like the old people now? Like it's just like our parents and their brothers and sisters and yeah, and that's the only reason I'm on there now is because my mom keeps um, showing pictures of my nephews and my Same. nieces and stuff, and that's the only reason why I need to stay on yeah. there. Same. My mom just joined Facebook. I'm like mom, <laughs> you're, you could have just waited for like the next one and then cool. I remember <laughs> the day when you used to have like a college email address to join to get a, an account. Yeah. yeah. Oh really? Yeah, that was when it first started. Um, I just went to the the terrorist Bitcoin Bella Twitter page. Oh my gosh! It's only got fourteen hundred and eighty one followers. Um, it's very sad that they're almost beating me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they are. <laughs> they are. And uh, the terrorists are winning. They the last time they tweeted was on uh, June tenth, and <laughs> the tweet was, "Where are my hot dudes?" <laughs> Stop! <laughs> Stop! <laughs> That's amazing. That's actually something I would say, but I don't yeah. feel like they did it the right way. Uh, That's amazing. So funny. <laughs> That's funny. Oh yeah, they just put, and they just jacked fucking pictures of you at a conference or something. Did they? Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. I've reported them, but Twitter doesn't care. Well, this was back in May. Maybe it was yours. I don't know. <laughs> uh, but that's pretty crazy. That's a good wreck story. I'm glad you remembered it. So. Yeah. I, I blocked it from my memory because it was so terrible. <laughs> <laughs> but that's awesome. Anyway, that's going to do it for us. Anything else you want to say before we get out of here, Bella? No, I just want to say thank you guys for having me on. I appreciate all of you. I love you. Uh, the only person I've met in person is Cynthia, but Cynthia, I love you so much. Um, I think about the time that you saved my little sign from the Chicago conference, and you're just like a <laughs> thoughtful did. human being. Um, I appreciate you guys. So, you know, happy yes. holidays. Yay. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much so for, nice. for joining <laughs> us. You're awesome, and I enjoy uh, talking with you and uh, following you, obviously, as well. So we really appreciate your time. Um, just some housekeeping items for us. Please uh, like and subscribe us and give us a five-star review if you are so inclined on iTunes. Um, as I always say, five stars if you like us, four stars if you hate us. Um, and uh, leave us leave us your favorite Christmas present you've ever got as a review. Um, do we, uh, Chamber, do we got any hashtags for this episode? Uh, I think hashtag uh, financial advice. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. Okay, hashtag financial advice will be the hashtag for this episode. Um, Also, if you haven't uh, checked out our episode from last week, or was it two weeks ago now? I don't even remember. No, it was last week. It was just early last week. We only did one last week. 
Fuck. No, I was thinking I was going to mention the Beeksy one that we did. That's two weeks oh, ago. Oh, that was now. two weeks ago, yeah. Yeah, so if you haven't heard our um, episode with uh, Franklin Fitch from Beeksy, please Frankie. check that out. Yeah, please check that out. A lot of great stuff in there. Obviously, they're one of our sponsors. So uh, if you haven't checked out Beeksy yet, uh, check them out. Go uh, register. They're dropped some exclusive stuff on our podcast when they were with us uh they're dro- they're launching the exchange on january 30th so head over there and check them out as well other than that you guys got anything else chamber all good all good everybody stay safe out there stay safe uh don't get wrecked and that is financial advice